Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Taro. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in Architadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Spade. Oh, Spade. Sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> We discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Via! Via! Oh, no. Maledizione! Please, God, let me live! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple? Before we even know. Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Are you afraid? Merda! Inside, double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta, perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene, I'll be right back. Hey, you, yeah, I'm talking to you, you spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and get your valley on?
Tete. I bet you want to see them, don't you? You wish you could touch them. You wish you could lick them, don't you? Well, come on down here and give it a try. Like a real man. Ah! 
Taviano! Forgive me, signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me! Send me your amici.
Caterina! Caterina, sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Gecko, at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go. Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. And a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Gecko and Ludovico Orsi. Bored with their leisurely life in the countryside, the Orsi brothers decided to spice things up a little. They started a money-lending business that was extremely successful, mostly because they killed anyone who didn't pay them back. Then, Caterina Sforza hired them to murder her Templar husband, Girolamo Riario, which they did in true cavalier fashion. They rode up to his palace, waltzed into the dining room, stabbed him in the chest, ransacked the estate, and left his naked body in the centre of town. According to Abstergo's files, Rodrigo Borgia, after escaping from Venice, offered to pay them for the recapture of the Peace of Eden. And, of course, Caterina's head. It was the Orsi brothers' idea to kidnap her children. I ask you, what has this world come to when the rich go so bad? Get him!
looking for trouble. You to have his bolting. Stop him. There, down. No, you won't get far. Dispatcher of the great assassino.
was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know. The Maestro gains his price because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Grazie, signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. Don't 
be enough of you left to bury! Stop with you! After him, ragazzi! He's getting away! Not you! He's there! On him! Have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miserie nascono dalla vidità. Requiescat in pace. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See... That I remember. Wait... There was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger... See, si. Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, 
There is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> you look stronger on the You'll be well satisfied, I know it. <laughs> 